this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. I am continuing my 2021 floral design series and this is project number seven. I am doing a little basket wall hanging and this is perfect for spring. So let me show you how to put this together. All right, so my first item is this little wall basket. As you can see it is flat on one side and then of course it's got a really nice little design on the front. I love it. It has a nice little handle where I can hang it from. I got this from Burlington. It cost me for $5.99, so six bucks. I thought it was a really good deal. It does have a plastic lining where I can actually put a live plant, but I'm gonna use this for my artificial flowers. I think it's really pretty. You can find any container that you can hang on the wall and use it for that purpose. And because I don't like the color of the basket, at least it's not gonna go with the decor that I have. So I'm gonna be using some white paint. This happens to be a chalk paint. You can use any acrylic paint. You can choose to spray paint it if you want. I'm going to be using a little bit of black just to distress it a little bit. And of course, I'll need a little assortment of brushes to see which one works the best to paint my little basket. Here I have some flowers that I'll be using in my arrangement. I have these cute little geraniums. I believe I got this little bush from a store called At Home. It was $2.99, so I paid $3 for it. And I thought it was a really good deal. It is really pretty. I love the green of the leaves. Here I've got a little bush that I actually grabbed from the Dollar Tree. You can grab all your flowers from any dollar store. That'll work just fine. This is really pretty, another pink to add to that. And here I've got some leftover greenery. I have about three little stems that were left over from a bush from a previous project. So I'm gonna go ahead and use them. I like uh, the little bit of uh, whatever these little things are on your little buds, I guess. And they kind of coordinate really well with this pink right here. So I'm going to be using that. Okay, I will also be needing some styrofoam to put in my basket to uh, be able to put my flowers into it. This is just a scrap piece of styrofoam that I happen to have. You just need a piece that is big enough to fit into your container, either snugly or you'll be able to hot glue it in there. I'd like to add a bow to my arrangement. So I've got some ribbon here. This is about a one and a half inch wide wired ribbon. And I just need enough to make a small little bow. I'm gonna be using some floral wire to tie it up or you can use a chenille stem. And here I have a floral pick. This is a little wood stick. You can use anything, even a leftover piece of stem from a flower that you cut up. So you can use that. This will be used so that we can create a pick out of our bow to insert it into the styrofoam. All right, some additional tools are going to be my usual hot glue, wire cutters, and scissors. That is all that we need to create this particular arrangement, so let's get to crafting. Okay, so I'm going to start by painting my basket, and I really just wanna get the front of it here and the bottom. I don't need to worry about the handle because I'm gonna have flowers here, and that's going to hide the handle. And I do want to get the little edges here on the top. I won't worry about the inside. As I am painting this, I'm realizing that I may just need to use one coat of this paint and I may not have to use the black at all because I kind of like how some of the brown kind of seeps through the white chalk paint. So it'll be up to you how you decide. If you happen to have a basket, you know that uh, you know you'll be able to kind of see the little bits in there. Which, if you want them to be fully coated, then get your brush to like push in really well. But if you don't do that, you might have some little bits of the undercolor showing, and maybe you like that. So that's up to you. I think maybe just one coat is going to be enough. And what I like about that is that I don't have to use up too much of that little chalk paint that I got. All right, so like I said, once it is all dry, we can go on to the next step. But I wanna go ahead and show you what I want to do to mine. Now, some of the brown does kind of show through the white, and if I didn't want that, I would give it a second coat. Or like if you're spray painting it, of course, give it a, a second coat as well, whatever color you decide to uh, use. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush as much as I can, get some of that white paint off of there. And I've got some black paint here ready. So what I want to do is I want to take just a little bit and I'm going to be using the same bristle brush because I feel it's going to give me the best uh, look that I want. And I'm just going to just kind of clean some of it off here. I don't want it to have too much paint on there. And then I'm just going to brush it in certain 
areas of my basket, like maybe the top edge there, then the sides, the bottom, maybe a little bit in the middle to give it a more uh, distressed aged look and that is up to you of course you don't have to use black you can use a brown or a pretty other you know like a beigey color against the white if that's what you want to do so just use whatever colors you feel I'm just gonna slightly you know just gently I should say go over like that to give it that look all right so I'll finish doing that and it'll be dry and then we'll definitely go on to the next step all right, my basket is completely dry, so now I'm going to add some styrofoam in there. Now my basket happens to have this uh, plastic liner, so I am going to cut that out before I add this in. Okay, so now I want to add my styrofoam piece in there, and I want it to fit tightly, so I'm going to put it going in this direction. So all I'm going to do is just shave off a little bit off the corner here, so it'll go into the roundness here of the uh, basket or container, whatever you happen to have. Okay, so I just rounded off these little ends here. So I want it to go in there nice and tight, and that's as far as it'll go, so I don't want to trim it anymore because I don't want it to go any further down. All right, so let me give you an option in case you don't want to hot glue that in there and you're using a basket. All right, let me take my styrofoam back out. And I'm gonna cut a very a long piece of uh, wire. I'm gonna leave about about eight, six or eight inches, okay? And then I'm gonna wrap it around my styrofoam and then bring another end, about the same length, cut it right there. So what I want to do now is I wanna get these two ends of wire through the openings or the weaving of the basket and bring them through on the back. One here and then one over here, depending on how far in the styrofoam has to go in. So let's push that in so I can see. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work my way since I know that this one has to be somewhere about right here. And this one's up high, so I'll put it right up here. Okay, so now I'm just pushing it in to make sure that it is in there securely. And then I can bring my wires together, twist them, and I wanted them nice and long. And the reason that I want it long is because I want to make sure that I'll, I'll have enough length on these ends to not only bring them through, but to twist them up nice and tight so that the styrofoam does not come out. Also, you want extra length because in case you don't have something that you can hang your basket with, you can form a little loop by, you know, just going around your fingers and then loop, you know, twisting these ends together, and then you create a little loop here that you can hang your basket from. But maybe you wanna put a little wire a little bit higher up here, make the, make the uh, loop come up a little bit higher so that it hangs right off of here rather than it going like that, like mine is, okay? So just keep that in mind. It's up to you how you wanna do this. I'm actually gonna hot glue this, but you know what, since I've already wired it down, I'm not gonna take it out. We're just gonna pretend that we didn't put any wire on here. I'm just trimming off the ends because I don't need that because I do have this thing here to hang it from. Okay, so I'm just gonna push those little ends in so I don't scratch my wall or door, wherever it is I hang it from. So we're gonna pretend it doesn't have the wire. We're just, again, we're sliding it nice and snug. Once we have it nice and snug, you can go ahead and use your hot glue to place it right where it's touching so that uh, it won't pop out. And then just let that dry completely and then we can go ahead and create our little arrangement. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a bow. So I'm cutting about 12 inches. Or like I said, you could use a chenille stem. So here I've got some wire. I've got a little stick here that I can insert into the styrofoam. And then I've got my ribbon. And I don't have much ribbon here, so it's just a little bit. But I still wanna make a nice little bow. So I'm gonna get the two ends here because it's a really short ribbon. I don't think it's even 36 inches. No, it's, it's more like about 24 inches long. So I'm gonna get the ends, fold them together, and cut to make the dovetail that I like. So that is up to you if you wanna do that. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just grab it like this and decide that, okay, I want these little ends to be about that long. Once I know that, I can crisscross it right there. 
bring down the center, pinching it, and then pinching these. And there we have a little bow. And then just put the wire around it. And then you're gonna take your little stick, take one end of the wire and wrap it around, get the other end, wrap it around the opposite direction, get these nice and tight on there. And get all that wire twisted on there. Okay, so now what we've done is, we and we can add a little bit of hot glue here too, by the way, if you wanna uh, make it a little more secure. Okay, so now what we've done is we've created a pick out of our little bow so we can stick it into the styrofoam. And look how cute that is. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my little bow in my basket because I wanna be able to place it in an area where it's not going to hide any flowers. So I'm kind of going off to the side here just placing it right in there, just like that. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to decide uh, what flowers I want to put in my uh, basket here. I love all of these flowers. I don't know if I'm gonna use them all, so I'm gonna cut a piece at a time. I'm gonna cut this one at the longest point, just like that. And what I need to do is I need to decide how tall I want my arrangement so if you're looking at it like this how tall up do you want it to come up against the wall I'm gonna do it sideways so that you can see the full thing let me bring the camera up just a little tiny bit all right so here we go we're gonna add uh, the first flower we're gonna decide how tall we want it to be on our arrangement I'm actually gonna put this backwards like that so I can decide the height I think I like that height but as you can see that's a long stem and then I've got some leaves down here which I don't want to lose, so I'm going to cut right above where the leaves are. That creates a little stem out of them. They're not wasted. And I'm actually going to cut the stem just a little bit more because it's a little too long. Now, i got to keep in mind that the styrofoam is in there, but it's not to like about right here, and it's about this wide. So just keep a little lookout for that. And I'm going to add my first flower. And I'm going to kind of direct it kind of towards the back here. I don't want it flat up on the wall, you know, when I put it on the wall like that. I want it to be free from the wall, so make sure you don't put it way, way back, and then it gets crushed up against the wall over here. Okay, so now that I know where I'm going to place it, a little bit of glue. Slide it right in there. I'm going to bend this oh, just a tiny tad. That way the flowers are looking forward rather than looking upward. There we go. So now let me add some more flowers. And I want to save this to add in when I decide to put all my greenery. Okay, I'm going to cut two more of these. There's one and two. Now you saw the other one that I cut it to become a separate stem with these little leaves. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now I don't need these to be as tall as this one. I want them a little bit shorter. So again, hold it so that you can compare the height. And I'm gonna trim way up here. Add a little bit of glue. And I'm gonna put this one kind of going at an angle like that. And then bending it forward a little bit. I'm gonna add the other one on the other side. Again, I'm gonna trim. Bend the flower up a little bit like that. Slide it in at an angle. I don't want the bow to hide it, so make sure you don't push it in too far. Look at that. All right. Got that in there. Make sure it's in securely. I'm gonna add another two flowers. I like this nice full one right here, and it, I don't need it to be that long, so I'm just gonna trim it short. And I do like this small little flower here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off as well, right above the, the little leaf here, actually. Okay, so now I'm gonna get this fuller one and put it forward right here. But again, I don't need this, so I'm gonna cut that off, trim my stem, bend it forward because I want it right here in the front. I want it in the front, but then I also want it, I want it like closer to this flower because we have this bow here, okay? So we want it right about right there. So now I'm gonna take this little one and I'm gonna use it to fill in this space right here. Again, I don't need the stem to be that long. I'll bend it a little bit. 
some glue on the on the end of the stem there and then just slide it in to fill the area you need right there so you can see it from the top the front there all right so now we got the little flowers that we want to add in there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these off from the bush and separate them and I don't want these little leaves so I'm not gonna worry about them so I'll just cut right above as long as I can cut them that way I make sure that I have a good length if I need the length if not I can trim them but it's always best to cut them at their longest point okay I don't need this part so I'm gonna go ahead and toss it away now I've got these little pieces it doesn't mean I'm gonna use all of them but I might so I'm gonna take this one because it has a nice long stem these are up kind of high and I'm gonna put this one behind this tall flower so again, I'm going to compare and I want it to be just a little bit higher. And the stem seems to be perfectly nice in the length that it is. So I just added some glue on the end there and then slide it next and kind of, kind of behind it, but not too perfectly behind, but there we go. Just add it like that. And then I can add more of these in different areas of my arrangement. So I'll go ahead and grab this one and I'm going to push this little because I'm able to push that up. I'm gonna push it up, just trim a little bit so it's not too tall. But I want it to be enough so I can push it in there and I can see it. Now it's missing a little flower right here, so I'm gonna trim that little bit there where the flower was to go because I don't have the little flower to replace it. And what you do is you wanna look through your arrangement and see if there's any other little spots or any other little flowers missing, especially if you don't have the little flower to replace it. You want to remove all of those so we don't see those little bits. There we go. And then we can use these to fill in. Okay, so I think I'm going to use one more. Slide that forward. Trim. Glue on the edge there and then put it between these flowers over here, kind of peeking over the bow. And I, if they were a contrasting color, they might look a little bit better than they do all pink, but this is what I had, and I really love the all pink lately, so I'm really loving this. Okay, I had some of these left over, just like I did the hydrangea, and I can use this in another arrangement. Now, remember the little leaves that I cut from the geranium? I think I said hydrangea a moment ago. There's a geranium, so I'm gonna use these to fill in way inside so that I don't see the styrofoam. See how you can see the styrofoam? So I'm gonna push these way in, but I'm gonna cut the little stems kind of short, just enough to go into the styrofoam. Add some glue. There we go. And then just kind of let your flowers come in front of it between the two leaves that I just added. See how that covers that up and I don't see the styrofoam anymore? All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I see a spot right here where I can put that in. Maybe something back here. And that'll look really nice. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I only needed three of this stamp, so I don't need this leftover one. I'll put it aside. All right, so after I've added all my greenery, it all looks really pretty and nice and full. I don't have to add any more to it if I don't want. Uh, I think it looks lovely the way that it is. I can hang it now on the wall. But I do want to add a little bit of this. And the only reason that I'm going to go ahead and add this is because I have so much pink. Now, like I said, if I had a smaller, a small flower that was in a, in a different color to add some contrast, that would be great. Uh, but like I said, this is what I have and I'm working with my little leftovers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut one of these stems into separate pieces so I don't have too many. Now these particular ones, some of this can be slid upward, but then some of them can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right above the joint of those that can. And of course you saw me slide this one up. This one can be slid up just a little bit right there. Let's trim that. So now I have these three pieces. I feel like I want to use this one right here in the middle kind of in front of this and next to this. So I'll just push it in. Ah, oh, yeah, that looks really pretty in there. And then I've got another piece that I'm gonna trim also. And I'm gonna do this right up here in the front. Right there, bring some of those leaves there. 
And I think I want to bring this other one over here on this side, just to bring these leaves over on the other side of the bow, just to kind of balance things off. And I really like the color of this green against the brighter green from the hydrangea leaves. You can see that. There we go. I've still got two. I could add more, but you know what? I think I'm going to stop right there. I think I've added enough to cut between the flowers so that it doesn't look way too pink. And I really, really like this. All right, everyone. So there we go. My arrangement is complete. This is my project number seven in my 2021 floral design series. And it is a hanging floral basket. I am very, very happy with it. I think it looks super cute. I love the pinks and I love how the green just cuts right in there. Now you could do this with all your little leftover flowers and do it in multiple colors if you prefer. Again, you don't have to use a little basket. It can be any other type of a wall uh, container. And of course, you don't like the color, change it up, spray paint it or brush paint it, do whatever you want to do to it. But this is just a little idea of what you could do with just a few little flowers and create something really pretty, whether it's for yourself or as a gift for someone, maybe a birthday coming up or just someone that needs some special love. Go ahead and show that to them with a cute little basket they can hang nearby them. All right, everyone, I want to thank everyone for watching. I am going to give myself a big old thumbs up right here. And I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below. And let me know what you think of my project. Are you going to do this or are you going to change something about it? If you have an idea that you'd like to suggest, of course, put that in the comments below. Or you can visit my Trisha's Creations Facebook page. I do also have Instagram at Trisha Texas Lady. And I'm going to try and post a little bit more there. I haven't been doing so in a very long time now. But I went ahead and I started uh, adding some things there. As well as on my Facebook page. So please go ahead and go over there and follow me there. Like my page. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you haven't, please hit that red subscribe button down below. And then you'll get a little notification bell. I just choose all for everyone that I'm subscribed to. So that I can make sure that I get notifications of when they upload their videos. So I'm asking you to please do that for my channel as well. All right, everyone. Thank you again for watching my project. Y'all have a super week. And as always, enjoy.